Hello guys and welcome to another PowerPoint tutorial. In this video I will show you how I made these slides using PowerPoint for Office 365. This is a very cool presentation for your school projects, so let's see how I did it. So I started with a black background and I just inserted a rounded rectangle from the shapes panel. And here we're creating the structure of the phone. So I'm going to change the color to white and then I'm going to copy this shape with Ctrl C and then paste it with Ctrl V. And I'm just going to make it smaller because this will be the screen of the phone. So for this one, I'm going to change the color to black and I'm going to select no line. And then I'm going to insert another rounded rectangle and with the yellow dot you can change the roundness of the corners. So then I just changed the color to white. And I'm going to start building up the UI of the phone. So in this case I'm going to insert this rounded rectangle shape here and change the color to a dark gray. And then I'm going to duplicate it holding control on my keyboard and dragging the shape up. And I'm going to start creating the apps, so I just need to create a rounded rectangle and duplicate it holding control on my keyboard. And if you select all of them, go to align and distribute horizontally, they will be evenly distributed. And once you're done setting up the structure of your apps, it's time to start adding um, our text. So in this case, I'm just going to add some, some text here. So for example, here you can put uh, the weather, the calendar, um, just to make it look like a like the real phone, we'll need to add the names of each app. So here I'm just adding like the words art, science, and just like all the subjects from school, basically. And once you're done, let's start adding icons. So you go to insert icons, and here first I'm gonna look for the sun because in my phone it will be a sunny day today. So I'll just select an icon here and then click on insert. And here I'm just gonna move it up and I'm gonna make it smaller and I'm gonna change the color to yellow from the format graphic panel. And basically I'm gonna repeat the same process for all the apps. And once you're done with that, select each app background with its own icon and let's group it with Ctrl G. So holding shift you select the app background with the icon and then press Ctrl G. Then you're gonna select the app that you're gonna highlight and you're gonna right click and bring to front and then you're gonna duplicate the slide with Ctrl D and you're gonna select that same app and move it to the center and make it larger holding Ctrl and shift on your keyboard. Now we're going to insert a circle, so just insert a circle in the middle. You're going to click on no line and you're going to select the same color of the background of that app. So in my case is blue. And you're going to make it so big it's going to take the whole space of the slide and you're going to right click send to back. Then you're going to copy and paste it into the first slide, again send to, send to back. And then here you're going to make it smaller so it's behind the phone. Now if you select the second slide and go to transitions and click on morph, you'll have this super cool effect. And to make it more interesting, we're going to select the screen and we're going to select the rectangle that we use for the receiver. And holding control, we're going to drag it to the right. With both shapes selected, go to Shape Format, click on Merge Shapes and then click on Subtract. Then select the app that you're highlighting again, right click, bring to front and drag that shape that you just did all the way to the center of the phone. Then change the color to black, right click, Format Shape and change the transparency to 100. You'll see in a minute why we're doing that, but in the meantime, copy that same shape and paste it into the second slide. And here you change the transparency to around 30%. Again, select your app, right click, bring to front and center that shape that you did. So now we have this kind of like opacity effect. So the app stands a little bit more. 
Now duplicate the slide with Ctrl D and we're going to move everything to the left outside of the main slide. And then we're going to bring back the app that we are highlighting. So just drag it to your slide. Then I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and I'm going to put it here on the left hand side at the top. And then you can start inserting your text. So in this case, this slide will be about the DNA. And again, I'm going to insert an icon. So you go to insert icons and here I'm going to look for the DNA. So you select it, go to insert, and then I'm going to change the color to no fill and the outline. I'm going to change it to blue and then I'm going to make it larger. And then I'm just going to move it to the right hand side of the slide. And then you're going to duplicate the slide with Ctrl D. And on this one, you can get rid of everything on the left because we don't need it anymore. And we just need to select a new app basically, and we're going to replace it. We're going to put it on top of the one that we have before. And here you can just change the text and the colors to align to that new app. And you can also change the icon as well. This could be a very cool presentation if you need to cover different topics that aren't related to each other. This could make your presentation and your story a lot more consistent and engaging. And that's it guys, that's how I made this awesome presentation using PowerPoint. And remember to follow me on Instagram at LuruteaPPT and TikTok at LuruteaPPT if you want to get more PowerPoint tutorials. And you can download this template for free at LuruteaPPT.com, which is my website that I just launched last week. And here you'll be able to purchase my premium templates as well. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your support. Don't forget to leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe uh, to this channel and I will see you on my next video.